dense energy. We're in for a great time testing some energy knowledge and having some fun. Here's how it works. Here today I'm with two North Melbourne Kangaroo players. Uh, hey guys, my name's Griffin Logue from the North Melbourne Football Club. Uh, I play centre half back and learning about Hello Solar today. And my name's Jaden Stevenson. I wear the number two and play in the forward line. And I'm very excited for this quiz. And today they're teaming up with me, Ellie from Hello Solar, and we'll be tackling questions about solar panels, EV chargers, heat pumps, water tech, and more. Don't worry, this isn't a quiz. This is just a chance for us to learn something new. Each question has two possible answers, and our kangaroo players here today will reveal the right one, along with some very interesting insights to the actual answers. So here's how the game works. So basically, I'll be asking our kangaroo players a mixture of questions. Like I mentioned earlier, all to do with solar panels, EV chargers and more. There'll be four questions that they'll get a point each if they get the correct answer. And then we've got a bonus question at the end of each round where they'll get six points. So the first question for you guys is, what is the primary source of energy that solar panels capture? Is it either sunlight or heat? Sunlight. Sunlight? Absolutely. Yeah. Primary source of energy captured by solar panels. Sunlight is made up of tiny particles called protons. When these protons hit the solar panels, they excite the electrons inside the panel cells, creating a flow of electricity. Moving on to question number two. So, what unit is used to measure the capacity of the solar panel system? Is it kilowatts or kilojoules? I'll say kilojoules. So in regards to that one, the correct answer is kilowatts. Yes! The capacity of the solar panel measured is kilowatts, which is also KW. This measurement reflects the solar's potential to generate electricity. A kilowatt is equivalent to 1,000 watts. So when we talk about the capacity of a solar panel system, we're talking about the amount of electricity it can produce under specific conditions. Okay, so question number three for you guys today is, which direction is ideal for the solar panels to be installed to maximize the sunlight exposure on a property? Is it north facing or south facing? I'll go with north. North? Yeah, I'll say north as well. North as well? That is correct. Yeah. It is north facing. To installing solar panels facing north is ideal to maximize sunlight exposure, that is correct. This is because the sun is generally in the northern part of the sky in the southern hemisphere. By facing panels north, they receive the most direct sunlight throughout the day, leading to higher energy production, and it's all about capturing the most sunlight possible. Question number four for you guys is, what is the average lifespan of the solar panels on a property? Is it five years or 25 years or more? 25 years or more. Okay, so in regards to that one, the correct answer is absolutely you will both. So most solar panels have an average lifespan of 25 years or more. This is due to the durable materials used in their construction, like tempered glass and sturdy frames. Over time, solar panels degrade at a very, very low and slow rate, around 0.5% to 1% per year. This means after 25 years, they'll still be producing around 75% of their original capacity. Okay, so just to conclude this first round, I am going to give you guys a bonus question where you can win six points if you do correct the right answer. So for this one, which part of the solar panel system converts direct current, which is known as DC electricity, into alternating current, which is AC electricity, to use in homes and businesses? This is quite a hard question. Um, so is that one coming from the inverter or the converter? So the DC electricity to the AC. Do you think it comes from the converter or inverter? Converter. I'll just go with the inverter. Inverter. So the correct answer to that one is inverter. So the inverter is the part of the solar system that's responsible for converting direct current, which is known as DC electricity into alternating current, which is known as AC electricity. AC is the type of electricity which is used in homes and businesses. 